back in the ATL hanging out with Kiara, better known as Kiki. Uh, would you just go ahead and just let us know uh, what new things have actually transpired in your life that you want to go ahead and let our viewers know about? Sure. <laughs> uh, I, first, I'd like to say I've graduated college. Okay. Um, I was a student at Wayne State University and I wow. graduated with a bachelor's in liberal arts and science. Congratulations. Thank you. So that was one big um, accomplishment. And um, I had I was proposed to. Wow. So Congratulations I'm again. Thank you. Wow. And his name is uh, Pastor Walton Smith. Oh, okay. He's an awesome Pastor. man. Yes. Okay. He's an awesome man, awesome friend. We grew up together. We used to call each other brothers and sisters. and. We still wrestle like we brothers and sisters, so we have so much fun, and I'm really looking forward to him being a priest and prophet of my home. Oh, well, that is so good. Yes, that is so good. Absolutely. Uh, and I wanted to go ahead right at that point where you was talking about you had finished uh, your BA. Mm -hmm. uh, how is important was it for you to do that? Because I know most people, once they think they have accomplished something, become successful and got money, they think they don't need education anymore. Mm -hmm. How important was it for you to go ahead and get your education, even though you've accomplished so much? It was very important to me. First of all, I come from a father, both my parents, are, were sticklers on education, but most of all, my father. My father has a master's in mathematics, okay. and wow. um, he has a bachelor's, I forget what his bachelor's is in. But um, he was also a teacher, very strict on education, like you got to have something to fall back on. So that was always instilled in me. My father always taught me, it's, it's not, what's silly is for you not to know nothing. And um, so, That's a good I, yeah. <laughs> so he's always taught me, you know, education is key, education is this, and you just want to have something to fall back on in case you get tired of singing. So my father made us think. He made us think about life decisions. Even though I'm spoiled and I'm a daddy's girl, I still have some issues with making some decisions <laughs> on my own. That's always good. asking, Daddy, what do you think? Daddy. So, but speaking of that, um, I thought it was very important because even now, I, I still want to get my master's and my doctorate in psychology. And I'm, I'm really praying that the Lord give me the strength to go through that because now that I got a break, I'm having a hard time going back. Right. But I am going to go back. Um, but in saying that, um, I always, you know, you get tired. You know, if you're doing teaching right. for 25 years, you're going to get tired. Right. And not saying that I'm planning to retire or anything soon, but mm -hmm. I know that eventually I'll, I'll have a family. I'm, right. I'm, I'm engaged. I'll have children. And I'll have to step away from the road and make sure I'm building my house and ain't no other woman trying to do that. <laughs> you know, so those are the things no, that I <laughs> And not that it would. I trust them 100%. Right, right. But those are things my grandmother, right. she always said, make sure. You ain't got nobody in there. You ain't bringing. You ain't bringing nobody. In. So you know, on a, on a joking side. But those are things I have to consider. And the Bible says that a woman builds up her home. Right. She did the work. She did some work in the house. And we think that it's just the man that's just supposed to be working. No, you got to do something too. How are you complimenting the your futuristic goal? So in saying that, with education, it helps me to think not just temporarily, but futuristically, and it allows me to remember. I'm going to have to give my kids something because what if my kid can't sing? They can't depend on me. Right. They got to get some education. Right. You know, but both of us can sing. My uh, fiance can sing really good. He can sing. And he's a so, pastor. And, yes. he, and you also can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the kids will be able to sing, but I don't want to force on them what right. I did and what my dream was. So I want them to be doctors. Whatever you got to do to be successful right. and get some money, go ahead and do it. But not nothing, you know, that's illegal. Right. Right. Yeah, get your education and right. and don't just you know adapt to what statistics are already saying that African Americans are. Be who God called you to be, and that is an individual with purpose. Yeah, Kitty, uh, your grandmother, your mother did a good job with you. You have a good Thank foundation. You. Thank uh, you. you full of biblical scriptures, and uh, you are confident and you're sure and you. uh, who you know that you are. Yes. So, if you will, would you just go ahead and to our viewers and the young people that's out there that's looking at our show right now, Absolutely. admiring Kiara, <laughs> Kiki. Uh, would you just go ahead and say something to encourage and inspire them to whatever their goals or whatever they uh, are transpiring to do that, you know, they can succeed? Yes, sir. With God on your side, you can do anything. Be encouraged. Keep God first. Don't let, don't become a prophetic junkie. Get to know the character of God for yourself okay. and be able to hear his voice. I consider prophecy as confirmation. 
So make sure whenever you hear the voice of God from someone else, it's only confirmation. Um, in addition to that, you can reach every dream. If you're here on earth, God has a promise for you. Speaking of, you know, biblical reference, um, Abraham was Abram before he was Abraham. Watch and God out, changed his name from Abram to Abraham once God had given him the promise. And I was reading a book and it talked about every time Abraham heard his name, it was God reminding him of the promise that he had made with him. So if you can hear your name, whether it's your boss calling you, whether it's mama calling you, that is still God reminding you and reassuring you that you have a promise. So walk into that promise. Don't be like Moses and just see it, but feel it and experience it. And I'm telling you, I believe in you. And if mama or daddy don't believe in you, remember I said I believe. And do your thing. Rock it out. Keep God first. <laughs> and just seek Him. He'll bless you. All right. So, uh, Kier, <laughs> would you just go ahead and give us um, contact information and let them know where your album and stuff is? Absolutely. I'm on uh, Facebook as Kiera Shear. Okay. I try to keep the name simple. I used to want to put, you know, Pookie Kier, Pookie Shear, <laughs> but it wasn't working because my working. brother just had to change his name. Um, but I'm on Facebook as Kiera Shear. I'm on Twitter as Kiera Shear. And um, again, you can go to the site www.boldrightlife.com. My uh, dates are on there, my spot dates, what I'm doing, my blog is on there, everything. Everything about me is on boldrightlife.com. And I made it that way so that y'all will never stop going to that site. So keep going, and that's pretty much how you get in touch with me. Okay. All right. Well, I am excited. I have enjoyed my time hanging out in the ATL with Kiara, better known as Kiki. Yes. And I tell you what, to all of our young people, uh, to all of our viewers that's watching our show, um, I hope that uh, you have been heard heard exactly what Kiara have said. I hope that you have been encouraged and uh, inspired to do the thing that she has talked to you about uh, today. Uh, I'm Ken Morgan. My guest has been Kiara. My producer is not other than the lovely Heidi B. Fuller of the Fuller View. <laughs> we'll talk with you later.